To shout with my loudest voice on the tallest peak is a catharsis I've utilized a long time ago. At seven years old, daddy's little princess was watching him get high in the kitchen. Pops was fighting a disease they call addiction. He wasn't addicted to no weed either. I'm talking about a drug that becomes a need. He was a fiend. It put him in a place far beyond this world, but oh, how I give anything not to be that little girl that watched her hero turn to heroin and push a needle through his skin. See, my father was much more than just some kid, but my best friend. To think, one bad move, it could have been the end, the end of him, and he'd be gone like when I was 12 and left alone. Along with a boy who like putting his hands up my shirt. Now before long, it was his hands up my skirt. I never said a word, not even a peep, because it would cause more chaos if I had the boss to speak. The next year, I met a man five years older than me and decided to voluntarily give him something that had already been stolen from me. What? Placed in his unworthy hands was my virginity. And I did this because I thought I loved him and he loves me. But you know how stupid us girls can be. My most consuming sin came of this. I am the sick, hypocritical, fornicating Christian. But we all got sin, right? I'm talking about that sin hidden so deep within that even our closest friends would never think of. For me, I like the way it felt to be touched. For the manhood of a man to fill me up and I survived off of intimacy and not love. I sung out, speak, Lord, speak to me. And I prayed that he would give me the strength to do the right thing. But that same song I still sing because I'm cheating on the Lord for a five. 10, if I'm lucky, it's a 15 minute fling. And here's the thing. There's some people in this world who swear they know me. And I wish I could tell them some of the terrible things I've done, how far I've come. I am proud to say that I learned a few things along the way. Like you cannot have a testimony without a test. Just think about it. If Ali never fought, would he still be the best? So although you're going through your struggles after that storm clears, you fought your way through rubble, stand up and breathe. Life is going to hit you the same way it did me, but stand up and be free. Life is only temporary, so stand up and sing because my God can take you to a beautiful place for all of eternity. He said, be ready because we do not know the day nor the hour. He'll reap our soul. So continue to live your life with love and grow. And I pray that heaven is a place you and I have proven worthy enough to go. Y'all make some noise.